For those of you who don't know me, my name's Rich, uh, and I'm the driver here at Le Wagon Ver Berlin. Uh, I should say a thank you before we start. Thank you to, to Factory. I don't know where the team is, um, but they're always fantastic in hosting us. We love, love being here. Um, so thank you very much for them. And before we get going with 10 awesome products tonight, I want to tell you a little bit about Le Wagon. So I'll ask you all a question to begin with. How many of you, see if this thing works, how many of you have had one of these problems? First of all, I have an amazing idea that I want to build my startup, but I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to build it. Or two, I work in a technical team, but I always just can't communicate with my developers. They're speaking ancient Greek or something, and I'm completely lost. Or number three, I really want to change my career and get into a digital or technical career, but I don't know how to kickstart it. Long story short, you're feeling like this. And this is where Le Wagon comes in. We bring technical skills to creative people like yourself. We teach you how to code so you can build your digital product. You can land your dream job. And to be honest, you can reinvent yourself as a whole new person in a whole new career. How do we do that? Well, we do it with one boot camp of nine weeks of coding. Now, I would say these are a seriously intense nine weeks. 450 hours is maybe an understatement to the people over here who are sort of here just weary-eyed and everything. Uh, it's a super intense week, uh, super intense two months. But in terms of what we teach, we do cover a lot. We cover back-end, we cover front-end, we cover databases, we talk about mock-ups and prototyping, and we even touch upon technical workflow. And all of this is geared towards building digital products that can actually be used by a real-life user. And we've gotten pretty good at it, we must say. This is the third year running. Le Wagon has been voted number one coding boot camp, boot, boot camp, boot camp worldwide, uh, which we're very, very happy about, both on SwitchUp and on Course Report. <laughs> you're, you're too kind, Stefan, too kind. But the most important thing is what do our alumni do afterwards? Will they go and land jobs as developers, as product managers, as technical consultants, or they go on to start their own business? And there have been some pretty great companies right here in Berlin who have hired our alumni. You know, these are some of the biggest startups in Berlin, from Babel to Contentful, Adjust, MB.io, BCG Digital Ventures. We've had a great alumni network right here in Berlin with eight batches. Take Frederica, for instance. She used to be a student at VHO, started out studying business administration, decided it wasn't for her. She learned to code, and now she is a full-stack web developer at Pandata. Or take Say. She used to be a violinist in the Finnish National Orchestra. I mean, pretty impressive, if you ask me. But she decided it wasn't for her. She wanted a career change, and she had a developer boyfriend. So she decided to learn to code, and now she's a back-end developer at Contentful, one of the fastest-growing startups here in Berlin. She's also married as well, which is great. <laughs> and then finally, Julien. Julien from Paris. Uh, he was originally working in the hotel industry. And he saw a gap in the market, and he said, I want to build a product. I want to build a startup to solve that need. And so he decided to do Le Wagon as one of three co-founders. And now we're happy to say that Julien is going through Techstars uh, and is well on the way to disrupting the hotel industry, which is incredibly, incredibly backward. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Not yet. We'll, 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 I'll let you know when he is. I'll let you know what it is. But all of this, these are examples of people who are in an amazing community of 4,000 people around the world. I can't say how happy I am that we have 38 of them here tonight to demo some awesome, awesome products. Uh, 
And it is fantastic. <laughs> was that? A little less. A little less optimistic. And uh, I'm, I'm so happy that I can, I can start with the, with the products. So enough of me. I will hand you over to Martin, who is going to tell you about how the event industry should be better. Take it away, Martin. I'll let, I'll let Martin introduce himself, but there's also a little bit of uh, in-between time that we have to, we have to waste. We have to fill it out? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you tell everyone about what you, what you do uh, a little bit beforehand? He's, he's a famous man, Martin. He's a famous man. I'll leave you with that. Martin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, while the setup is, work, the setup is running, uh, I'm Martin. Uh, I am a YouTuber. I have a YouTube channel called Tech Altar that you can see right here. And as you can see, uh, I make videos about consumer tech, so the latest smartphones, laptops, earphones, whatever it is. So I like to talk about whatever is cool and new and shiny, and the question is where do you find the coolest, newest things? Obviously at expos. These are industry events where there are thousands and thousands of exhibitors, and they show their newest, greatest products. So I go to like 10, 15 of them a year, and they're always great, except they're a huge mess. They're gigantic, they're hard to navigate, and it's really hard to keep track of what you do at these expos. So I've tried many different ways. So the traditional way is to use paper stuff. So this is an expo book from IFA here in Berlin. It's really thick, uh, this is not the 2018 way. Uh, I used paper notes, I used different digital services. They don't really work. I also tried using apps. So. Some of the trade shows, like for example IFA, it's the biggest consumer electronics show here in Berlin, they have an app. The problem is, it's not a very good app, and I don't want to download a new app for every single trade show that I go to set it up, it's all a pain. So instead, I discovered this fantastic app called Expo Buddy. Expo Buddy looks great, it's very easy to use, and it lets me organize all of my expos, exhibitors, notes, pictures, whatever I do, in one convenient place. So let's check out the app. The first thing that I like about it is that it, has, it just lists out all the trade shows that I might want to go to. They look really nice. The one I'm interested in is IFA. So I'll quickly bookmark it as a trade show that I want to visit. So I'll hit that tab on the top right, that's right. And then I'll check out what's at IFA. So I tap on that. It gives me a list of all the exhibitors that are at IFA. I can scroll through this list. And the ones that I want to visit are, let's say, Acer. They have apparently fantastic laptops this year. Another one that I want to visit is AMD. I really like their CPU stuff. And let's say I also want to visit uh, Sennheiser. So I just quickly search for Sennheiser there. And then the search result pops up. I can favorite that one as well. And let's say I do this with a lot of other companies, and I've prepared in advance, before going to the trade show, all the companies that I want to visit. So I'm now ready to go to IFA. And let me demonstrate what a YouTuber at IFA would look like. So I'll quickly hand my microphone over to Ipke. This plus I'd actually also have another tripod for my camera, but uh, I currently don't have enough hands for that. So as you can imagine, I don't exactly have uh, the hands for taking out my laptop or a notebook or whatever to keep track of all the stuff going on. So the good thing is that I've already prepared in advance all the exhibitors that I want to visit at IFA. So I'll open up the app, here they are. And let's say I'm visiting uh, Sennheiser. And at Sennheiser, uh, I want to take some notes. I'm talking with them, and I really like their products. So I'll click on the plus button. I write a note. And I say, great earphones. Obviously, I'd say something more verbose, but there we go. <laughs> I create a note. I could create as many notes as I'd want. They'd all show up here. And I also want to take a picture. So I'll tap on the photo button. And now you guys are going to smile for the camera. There we go. 
And I'll actually take a picture of my Sennheiser earphones. Beautiful picture. Never taken a better one. <laughs> and it, it's really convenient to just keep track of all the things I do per exhibitor in one convenient place I can collect. Contact information, name cards, pictures of products, notes, whatever I want in this one place. Okay, I'm done with um, Sennheiser, so I'll just tap on the back button. And I'll mark this exhibitor as visited. That's with the little foot, foot marks there. So as I go through IFA, I visit all the, companies that I have, all the companies that I have on this list. I one by one mark them off as visited. I get a fantastic progress bar. I love feeling successful after I'm done with my work. And uh, once I'm done, I go home from the trade show. And let's say I want to have my video editor take care of one of the projects. So I'll tap on uh, Sennheiser again. And I can share this with whoever I want. So I tap on the share button. And all the notes, pictures, business cards, whatever I've taken there will be sent to my email. And then I can let anyone who I want follow up with it. So this is our app. And I'd like to thank uh, my team, Wiebke, who is tapping the phones over there, uh, Paul, and also Sophie. Uh, there they are. Uh, for helping me build it, and I'm really looking forward to what will come out of this in the future. Cheers. What a great... You forgot your books. There you are. Don't forget the... You, you don't need them anymore. I'll just leave them down there. There we are. Fantastic. What a great way to start. Any, any trade show guys, I, I went to one last year. I used to work for an event tech company, and genuinely, that is a massive problem. You meet so many people, so many stalls, and there's no way keeping track of it. So next up, we have a, a, a topic very dear to, to my heart and very dear to Le Vagon's heart, which is to do with sustainability and the environment. <laughs> <laughs> she supports it. I like it. I like it. Shame on you for not supporting it. So, uh, you know, 2018 has been a huge year for it. So what better way than celebrating with a brand new app that helps you contribute to climate change? Uh, sorry, against climate change. <laughs> Take it away, Jed Vega. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Um, so for those who don't know me, my name is Yad Viga, and I'm someone who cares a lot about the environment. Whenever there is a talk or a conference like the COP21 in Paris, I just hop in my private jet and I go straight there. <laughs> I care so much about the environment, I even painted my private jet in green, you know. I care a lot. But I'm also a humble person, you know, and I know I can always do a little better. And Nacho, my great friend, told me about a great app, Pimp Your Print it's called, that's supposed to help me reduce my carbon footprint. So I wanted to check it out with you guys. Okay, so it's asking me to take a quiz in order to assess how green I am. I'm pretty confident I know I'm gonna get a great score. So let's have a look, let's take the quiz. Cool, first question, daily transportation. As I told you, I have a private jet, so let's get it out there. Um, I make my private jet worth it, so I use it over 40 hours a year. I'm not ashamed of it. Um, do I smoke? Sometimes. How often do I eat meat at basically every single meal? I just love it. How often do I re... re I, I don't even know what that means, so I, guess I never do it. <laughs> so let's see my score. Oh, bummer. Okay, I thought I would do better, but yeah, good that we're on the app because let's try to improve that now. So I'm gonna log in now. Um, yeah, so from what I understood, this app is supposed to offer me every day a daily challenge. And if I fulfill this challenge, I'm going to reduce my carbon footprint. So let's go right away to see my challenge. Ooh, suspense. Let's reveal the card and see what's going to happen today. Equip yourself with a reusable bottle of water. Actually, that's a good point. Whenever I'm thirsty, I just buy another plastic bottle so I could cut both on cost and on carbon dioxide. Um, but how should I go about it? I've seen a lot of aluminum bottles, thick plastic bottles. Let's have a look if there are any tips about how to go around with that challenge. Glass over plastic, use a bottle of beer. That's a great idea. Anyone has a bottle of beer? Full of proof. Cool, so I'm just gonna use that bottle now. I'm gonna refill it with water and go around with it. 
I think I can fairly mark this change as done now. Yeah, I've done great. Cool, now they're asking me what mode of transport I've used today. Well, I did walk one kilometer to get to my jet. So <laughs> then from Kreuzberg to Mitte, how long does it take to fly? Like two minutes, I think. It was pretty quick. Cool, let's send that in. Nice, so here I can see my dashboard. I can see my progress over time. So, so far I've fulfilled one challenge. I'm on the streak of one. Hopefully I'll get many more in the next days. And I can already see that I've saved 12 kilograms of carbon dioxide by changing my bottle. Um, but I think that if people get together, the impact is even greater. So let's have a look at the events they have. Green talk at Le Wagon after party. I think I know the guy who's organizing it, so let's have a look at it. Let's have some drinks after Le Wagon des Modes. Well, I'm totally gonna join that. Cool, then I'm gonna go there and I hope to see you all guys there afterwards. Cheers. <laughs> and a big applause for the team that developed the app, Nacho, Rebecca, and Anya all together. Thank you. Fantastic. So from one important topic to another, food. A lunch in Le Wagon is always where are we going? And we have about five places that we do and rotate. But this man is going to make this far easier on a daily basis. Take it away, Stefan. Thank you so much. So hello everybody, my name is Stefan and this is my wonderful teammate Eike and we are representing Team Daily Kato today. Uh, we are here to talk about a very, very important topic and that is food. So um, uh, raise your hands please, who of you likes to eat? Come on everybody. All right, everybody likes to eat. So this is why this topic affects all of us. And in case, uh, you can not only enjoy the best food around, but you can save money at the same time. Because restaurants do offer specific deals, like for example, daily lunch deals or weekly deals and so on. But how can you find these deals? Well, the sad reality is that, for example. That is a print flyer. So um, this is not the 21st century, right? So we're used to something else. We want to go online. We want to see uh, everything in a digital way. So the good thing is, people, there will be a solution for that, and this solution is called dailycarto.com. So let's assume we are at Spreeufer 3. This is pretty much where I live. So I want to see the restaurants around, which offer specific deals. And now I should get a list of all the restaurants that do offer specific lunch deals, weekly deals, and so on. So, cool. We have found 12 deals. So um, let's assume I want to invite my team for all the hard work that they have done, and I know they are all about schnitzels. They love schnitzels. So I can click on filter, I can select schnitzels, and due to the fact that they made an impressive progress and good work, I want to give them at least three out of five stars for the restaurant, to give them good quality of food, right? And um, as we are a startup, we don't have money. So it has to be cheap. So uh, I will filter for the results, and I will get um, uh, at least, usually, uh, some of the deals. Um, you see here, just click on one. So for example, um, the uh, Cafe Bistro. Uh, now we have to switch around, so there is no schnitzel for today. Uh, we go for a salad, <laughs> which is also not bad for the team. And. Um, <laughs> So uh, we don't have not only money, but we don't have time because we have to work on the product, as you see. So when we go to the restaurant, we don't want to waste time by waiting so we can book a table right away. So just click and book now. So let's assume um, we want to go there next week. So next Friday, for example, at 12. Uh, we want to have the salad deal, as we said, which is not bad. Uh, we are a team of four. So there is Min and Dylan as well and there will be a total of 35, uh, 34 euros. So I can book that, I can take a look at uh, what I want to book, looks good. I will add the credit card data of my uh, company, so please feel free to use them as well for your Christmas shopping. I'm not sure if there's any money left on the, on the bank account, but please try it. 
And if everything should have worked fine, I will get a confirmation. And um, yes, it worked. So we will go there on the 14th of December. So thank you so much. Thank you to uh, my team and all of the uh, teaching assistants at Le Wagon. Uh, they did an amazing job. They helped us uh, going through these rough nine weeks and uh, helped us to um, you know, get the product running, even though it worked not here, but this wasn't their fault, <laughs> it was uh, our fault. Um, so thank you so much to Le Wagon, and if you want to learn coding, go to Le Wagon. Thank you. To be fair, to be fair, it was a sign, you know? Salad is healthier than schnitzel. That's what we should, we should take away from that. Fantastic. So next up, I am a big, big football fan. Uh, I, used to, I used to, when I was back in the UK, I used to watch it every single weekend. Uh, the EPL, as our American friends call it. Um, but now I'm here, I don't watch it nearly as much. So here is Luca to help me sort that out. Hi everyone, I'm Luca and I'm here to present you the Digital Pub. Um, as you might be able to guess, I'm a huge, huge Manchester United fan and in general I'm a huge, huge football fan. So what I like most about football, uh, besides playing it of course, is to discuss football because it's the best thing in the world. Everyone has an opinion, everyone is an expert, and, but in the end it's still just a game, more or less. Um, so I really like to go to pubs with friends to watch games, but you know how it is. There is like always an excuse. So you don't feel like going out in this shitty weather. You, your friends bail on you because, I don't know, they have family in town again. They, um, I don't know, they have to spend the weekend with uh, their girlfriends again. And like, I don't know, the pretentious one just came home from Bergheim again. So you end up um, watching the game at home, alone, with your cats. <laughs> and I don't know about your cats, but my cats, their football knowledge, yeah, it's quite basic. <laughs> so... I really don't have any, anyone to discuss with. So that's why I came up with the idea of the Digital Pub. So the Digital Pub is a mobile app where you can meet up with friends from all around the world to discuss um, about the game you're currently watching. So this is the homepage. I already have an account. And of course, I already set my favorite team, Manchester United. Um, and so I see all the upcoming games straight from the home page. So maybe we can add another team. Um, we head over to the preferences. Um, I don't know. I'm Swiss, so maybe a team with a lot of Swiss players. Uh, Dortmund. Dortmund has many Swiss players. And they even have a Swiss coach. And they play nice football. So let's add them to my favorite teams. Now when we go back to the home page, we see not only United, the United games, we also see um, the Dortmund games. But yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, they play tomorrow. So we cannot join the pub yet, because the pub opens one hour before the game. So maybe we find another game. So let's select like one of the four leagues that are available right now. Um, let's select Bundesliga. So we see all the games that are upcoming and we're kind of lucky. There's a game on right now. Um, the game is Hertha Berlin against Bayern Munich. It's actually quite a good game. And I'm definitely going to watch this. And I definitely want to chat about this game. So let's enter the pub. We click on the game. And in the pub, we can choose between three tables. One for each fan base. And one table called Stammtisch. Stammtisch is a uh, German for like regular table. So it's a table for, for fans who, I don't know, who don't care about who's playing, but they're still watching it. And for fans who like to, to fight a little. <laughs> so yeah, for tonight, I think it's a little bit too much for you guys. So I definitely don't want to join the Bayern Munich table. I really don't like Bayern Munich. I think no one does, but 
I'm quite fond of Hertha, actually. Uh, actually. So let's join the Hertha table. We click on the table, and yeah, the game started about uh, 30 minutes ago, so we missed quite a lot. Um, I, I don't feel like reading all of this, so maybe we can just ask, what did we miss, guys? And girls, of course. <laughs> and then we sent the message, and maybe, I don't know, there's a user out there. Oh, nice. We already get a message from Kaiser Beckenbauer. <laughs> we played way better than Bayern, but still nil-nil. Doesn't seem like we missed anything. So, but, whoa, what's this? It's a message, a message from the bartender. The bartender is keeping everyone up to date what's happening during the game. And there was a goal for Hertha Berlin. And you know the pub rule, the digital pub rule? Every time a team concedes a goal, you have to drink a beer. So we drink the beer, we tap on the screen to drink the beer. Come on, Daniel. What's wrong? <laughs> now we made it. Woo, confetti. <laughs> and... <laughs> and we can keep on chatting. But yeah, after all this virtual beer, I really feel like a real beer now. So feel free to check out digital-pub.life. It's working. Um, thank you, Le Wagon, for a great nine weeks. Thank you, my team, Daniel, Mario, somewhere there, Amelie. And thank you for your attention. Have a good night. Fantastic. No, I, that, that for any football fan is absolute gold dust. With the tapping as well, you know, you can actually act like you have friends to go to the pub with. It's great. I use it all the time, every single weekend. So the next, the next product I want to introduce is something which is a little bit different. Uh, in terms of social impact, we love, we love products that really have a meaning behind them uh, at Le Wagon. Uh, and this one has come from a, a very special place. So I'm very, very... Happy to introduce you to Trond. Thank you, Rich. After this welcoming introduction by Rich, I want to take this moment to introduce Kaylin. Uh, she has kindly agreed to assist me tonight. My name is Rich said, I'm Trond. And to start off, I want to tell you a story, and the story is about Casper. Casper uh, was born in the early 1990s in northern Germany. And for the first part of his life, he led a pretty normal life, just like you and me did. It was at the age of 14 when um, he got diagnosed with a severe heart condition. As part of his treatment, he got a heart transplant. And it was at that time uh, of recovery in hospital where he discovered many boring hours, frightening hours, frustrating hours, and depressing hours alone, away from home, family, and friends. So at that time, he came up with the idea, upon his recovery, he wanted to change this. He wanted to found a charity which targets young adults and teenagers who are hospitalized for a long, way, a long time uh, away from home. Um, unfortunately, I have to tell you, Casper never got to put his idea into action. Casper died in April of 2014. But there is a happy side to it. Family, friends gathered in in October of 2017, and they founded Herz Casper, a charity which at the moment aims to connect young people who are hospitalized for long-term treatment or rehabilitation with same-age volunteers. So I have already registered on Herz Casper's app as a volunteer, and I want to invite all of you guys to check out Herz Casper with me together. So let's jump right into it. All right, thanks for the welcome. Um, I'm curious what you have lined up for us, so let's continue. Okay, seems like they want to get to know us a little better, what we're up to. Um, so I'm just like Luca, I'm into football, but not American football, the proper football. <laughs> and I'm also into history, so let's see if they have movies related to history or historical fiction, maybe. Same with books, I'm a big fan. All right, continue, let's continue. Okay, we're not doing too bad. Um, so what's up next? So attend your first event. 
So let's check out the calendar, maybe, what they have to offer. OK, so there's something going on. But I'm occupied, well, tonight, on Saturday as well. Um, so maybe there is one on Sunday. Oh, there is one. Um, it's the Casper Mar Christmas Market Stroll. I haven't had time, thanks to Le Wagon, to have a stroll over the Christmas market. So I'm definitely going to do that. Let's see if we can attend. Yes, we can. So let's, let's go for that. So uh, let's fast forward a bit. It is Sunday evening. I just got back from the Christmas stroll, and um, I've met a bunch of very, very cool people, nice volunteers, very interesting, and I also met Brian. Um, I have a lot in common with Brian. Uh, he's just a football fan like me. I spent, it felt like a few hours talking to him, and it was a really, really cool experience meeting this guy. This guy. He's currently recovering from chemotherapy in Hamburg, in a hospital, and I really could imagine myself meeting up with him on a more regular base, spending time with him, having a chat of football, and maybe joining the Digital Hub if we are not able to meet. So fast forward again, it's Monday morning, 8 o'clock. Um, I'm ready, just about ready to go to uh, uni, um, and I'm checking Hertz Casper again for any news. Oh, wow, uh, we made great progress. Uh, it seems like we got matched with a mate, so let's check out who it is. Nice, it is Brian, that was what I'm hoping for, very cool. Um, um, so let's maybe drop him a message right now and say hi to him. And maybe also uh, ask him whether we should meet next week or on the weekend, whenever he's free. So maybe he's online, I don't know. We should wait five seconds or something. <laughs> oh yeah, he answered. <laughs> nice. Thank you very much, Brian. Uh, on that note, I want to end my presentation. Uh, I want to give great thanks to the team, Kaylin up here, Eleanor and Fritz down there. If it wasn't for them and the hours they put in, the effort they put in, this wouldn't have been possible. I'm also very keen on telling you that I'm hoping that this project can go live starting next year. We have to do some work, so if you feel like you want to contribute to this project, feel free to uh, contact me. Uh, I will be at the bar. <laughs> um, thank you very much. Fantastic. Thanks, Tron. I really, really recommend going to speak to him. The charity is doing fantastic work and always looking for developers. So please, please go and find Trond at the bar. Next up. Now, I know Berlin is a very creative city. We have lots of artists floating about. I'm not one of them. Uh, you'll be glad to hear. However, I, I've, always, I've always wanted to do more and express that creative side to myself. Luckily, Catherine's here to tell us all about how I can do that. Hello. Hi, everyone. Uh, as Rich introduced, je suis artiste. Uh, I just moved over here quite recently, um, and I'm loving the scene here. There's so much to do, so much art going on. Um, and I'm really excited to tell you about this website that we've built to explore even more. But first, I want to tell you um, a bit of like my background of coming here. So. Uh, I moved here quite recently, as I said before, and I kind of really wanted to get involved in the art scene here. And I know that there's a lot going on, a lot of artists are moving here. Um, but the problem is, where do you find them? Where do you find what they're doing? Where do you find the workshops? There's tons of galleries everywhere. And I was searching through forums and finding a lot of places and things going on. There's just so much, and I found no way to kind of filter what was happening. And as an artist myself, you know, I have quite a short attention span, so I wanted it to be quite easy. Um, but then my amazing friend Griselle over here told me about this site called Art Huddle, and I want to check it out with you guys. So uh, let's explore the first page. As soon as I get here, I see that I can search by category. Easy. Um, Let's come back to this in a second. Uh, so as we explore a bit further, you can see that 
you can browse workshops that are happening locally to you, which I'm really excited about because I want to support my local community, but then also want it to be close by and want it to be um, kind of just around the corner from me and something I can hop to when I do intensive nine-week boot camps like this one and I don't have much time in the evenings. Uh, and if we keep scrolling and explore a bit further, so... All right, cool. Well, this excites me even more because, I don't know, well, maybe one day I want to start, like, host a workshop. So I can see that I can do that. I can advertise it on here. Looks really cool. All right, so if we head back up to the search function just now. Okay. Mm, I want to pick a few categories here. So I really like ceramics, so I'm going to throw that one over. Uh, painting back in the day also was really into that. And a bit of audio, we're in Berlin, so let's explore some sound as well. And if I go ahead and search this, then I get a whole load of results pretty personalized to me. Uh, all right, they look pretty interesting. Cat painting, 101. Let's check that out, I'm interested in this. <laughs> On second thought, I'm not so sure. Let's head back. I want to go back to my results just now. Okay, hmm. audio compilation class. Let's go with that one. Oh, but before we go there, before we go there, oh, apologies, Grizel. Um, I got way too overexcited about this. Um, I can actually favorite a few of these functions, uh, a few of the, um, the events that are happening. So I'm going to favorite this one. Um, cat painting, obviously, we'll come back to that later. Um, but for now, I'm going to go check out the audio compilation class. So this looks really interesting, I think. And description, yeah, I get a bit of info, opportunity to experiment with sound, cool. I'm going to go ahead and book this just for myself as a little treat for finishing all of this. Great. So I'm heading to this. Um, but I have a second problem, which I forgot to tell you guys earlier, which is that quite often I go to these workshops and you take in a lot of information all in one, but then remembering all the stuff that you've learned, absolute nightmare. So what I'm going to do is go over to the notes section on this page. And actually what I can do here is create notes and also see notes that have been posted by people. So I feel a bit more like I've got a bit more of a personalized experience, I'm a bit more involved, and I'm going to go and add myself to the conversation just now. Um, so what are we going to put in? Um, it's audio compilation, so I'll say my top favorite synths, or top five synths, let's say. And the cool thing about this function is that I can add things in whatever format I want. I can also add links, it makes it a lot more interactive for people. Um, and let's sing, yeah, that too. <laughs> also sounds great. <laughs> um, and I will say, um, to be confirmed. Can't give it all away just now. To be confirmed, let's put in. And once I add this, it's done. And I've added myself to this conversation. I can remember things. I can go back to them later. Cool. And one last thing is if I head over to the dashboard of this, I can see some really, okay, cool. I can see a bunch of different things that I've booked. Also the things that I've favorited are all there, so I can go back to them later. And even if I scroll down, there are my notes that I made earlier. Um, so this was our app, and thank you so much to our team, Grizel and Sam, without them, this wouldn't have happened. It wouldn't have looked as beautiful as it does. And thank you to Levagon for a great experience as well. Thanks a lot. Fantastic. I'm going to get involved with pot throwing. I saw that there. Is that literally just throwing pots? It would be very therapeutic. So next up. Energy bills, yeah, we like that, energy bills. It's a topic that all of us are so familiar with, yet know so little about, okay? So luckily, Jameson is here 
to tell us all about it and how you can potentially save a little bit of Wonga. Wonderful. Take it away, Jamie. Hello, everyone. I'm Bob. Um, I'm from Illinois, and I recently joined a new uh, utility rate plan where the price of my electricity changes in real time um, during the period of a day. So every five minutes, I get a new price that uh, when there's more wind and solar on the grid, the price of electricity tends to go down. And when the demand is high and there's less wind and solar on the grid, the price tends to go up. So uh, let's take a look and see how this works. So really all I have to do is add a device, and then I can set that device uh, to the price that I'm willing to pay for electricity. Um, and Pricer handles the rest. Um, Pricer uh, will, uh, when I'm asleep, will turn the device on and off um, to based on the price of th that I've set. So let's go into my account. In here, you can see uh, the current price that the utility is charging me at the moment. And down in the chart, you can see the price has varied quite a bit over the period of the last day. And um, we've, in this day, the price has gone from about 13 cents a kilowatt hour down to about 3 cents. And we've seen the price go from 80 cents to negative 8 cents. So over here, you can see all of my devices. Um, I have the, the bid that I've set for each device and uh, the status in real time if it's on or off. Uh, so I'd like to add this new um, German light bulb that I found with <laughs> e exposed wiring. Um, I'd like to set the price of this funky looking bulb to uh, about 1.2 cents. Um, yeah, German wiring always looks like this. So I have to add uh, a device number and my key. And we'll get there. It's sometimes quicker than others. Lenny. <laughs> <clears throat> so let's do uh, 1.2 cents. All right, there we have my bulb. And um, it's a little dark in here, even though, yeah, it's a little dark. <laughs> so let's, um, let's go s make some changes to that guy. Uh, so go down here and let's uh, push the price up that I'm willing to pay. And the, the bulb should go on. So Pricer helps me save money on all of my uh, devices. Um, it helps me save the environment, and it also helps uh, me uh, with less strain on the uh, utility grid. So I recommend Pricer, and I would like to thank my team, uh, a bunch of coding ninjas. There's Lenny, Tim, and Rhett, and uh, they couldn't have been better. So. Uh, if anybody has questions about how this works, we sell the hardware to make this happen in our company in California, so come talk to me after the talk. That is the first hardware software uh, product we've had. There's actual, there's actual stuff, there's actual hardware here. It's beeping and uh, flashing. I, it's, it's fantastic. So if you're interested, go uh, and ask Jamie how it works. Uh, it's, it's really, really uh, worth, worth a look. So very, very well done. Next up, from one energy to a different sort of energy. Berlin is the city of cigarettes, alcohol, and Berghain. How do we stay healthy? That's the question. So Evgenia, you're up.
Good evening, everybody, and Merry Christmas, upcoming Christmas or Hanukkah, however. Um, tonight, I would like to present a slightly personal project that comes from the heart or more from me getting really, really fat when I moved to Germany. Schnitzel, as, as Stefan just said, you know, schnitzel, döner, best deals for food. I lived in Kreuzberg. It got out of control. I gained like 15 kilograms. I couldn't fit into my clothes. I literally had to like rebuy my wardrobe, which was awful. And I started researching to reverse the whole effect of, you know, gorgeous Berlin food by just replacing at least one meal a day with something really healthy, nutritionally well composed and, you know, non fattening, perhaps. So um, I've created a blog that just, you know, describes some ingredients and what they do for you, what they do for your body, how to use them, some smoothie recipes, but I could never commercialize on that until I came to La Vagon and met my team, who are also foodie-obsessed people, and we've created, at least as we think, this sexy, sophisticated app that allows you to shop for smoothies but really personalized smoothie. It's like a personalized smoothie purchasing experience. And today, I will have my co-CEO, Maria Mili, shop with us. And take it away, baby girl. Good evening. So I'll show you how do I get my breakfast smoothies. Uh, first, um, it's the most important meal of the day. And that's actually how I get the most nutritional benefits from a meal. And what I really liked about the service Evgenia told me about is that I will just receive uh, pre-cut, pre-sorted frozen ingredients for my smoothie. And basically, all I will have to do is to add some liquids and blend. Uh, plus, what I really like about this service is that they donate to the animal rescue. That's something I completely support. Uh, let's get started. So first, uh, I'll be redirected to my preference form, uh, my age, weight, height, as well as my gender and goal already set. So winter is coming, I want to boost my immune system. I can also add some uh, likes, dislikes and allergies. So for instance, I'm allergic to soy. Uh, and I, I really like berries. I love strawberries, raspberries, everything. And uh, I don't like nuts, unfortunately. OK, let's go. Then uh, I can choose my pricing model. I want 14 smoothies. OK, and now I can see my pre-selected and um, personal smoothies. I already know the ones I want to order. I'm an addicted to this service. So first, the green boost. You can check out the ingredients, actually. And uh, it's these details are very interesting for me. I learned so many things. For instance, avocado is a fruit. Um, yeah, and for this one, yeah, I have so many benefits I can gain from it. And I want seven of this one, please as well as seven of the red boost. So a lot of boosts. I'm completely energized now with my smoothies. Let's order it. Uh, I can see the recap, and now I can set my delivery address, which is in Berlin. And yeah, I really love this pink everywhere on the website. Like, completely girly. I want to be delivered tomorrow, and preferably from 8 to 10, so I can just wake up, get my breakfast smoothies, and be ready for the day. OK, let's pay now. So please don't listen. I'm going to give my credit card to Evgenia. It's 42, 42, 42, 42, 42, 42. OK, and it expires on February 2020. Yes. And uh, one, two, three. Okay. Good. Uh, then I can just see my order recap, if the payment works. Perfect. Uh, so thank you very much for listening, and I also want to thank my team and Le Wagon a lot. It was a great experience, and uh, we're actually pretty excited because that's something we wish we launch in real life. So we are looking forward to having you as our first customers. You better buy us smoothies. Merry Christmas, everybody. You could you could integrate that with the digital pub, maybe. Yeah, it might be some overlap there, maybe. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Next up, now, as you probably tell by my accent, I'm not originally from Berlin, uh, hailing from London. Uh, coming to Berlin and getting a job uh, here in Germany is not always the easiest thing once you've got a job. 
It's a lot of administration. So hopefully, Cedric, well, he, you could have been around a year ago, but at least he can help people in the future. Take it away, Cedric. All right, guys. Uh, hi, I'm Cedric. Uh, congratulations. You almost made it through the whole uh, pitches. Just two more to go. Um, all right. So um, as uh, you can see from my beautiful T-shirt, I just uh, almost graduated from uh, Le Wagon. And as I'm, a, as I'm a really organized person as well, so I also started to look for jobs. And I started a couple of weeks ago, got a really cool interviews. And at the end of that interview, they asked me a really random question. Well, I found that it was really random. Uh, they asked me if I had uh, sorted my Amneldung. All right. I don't know if any of you guys are from a foreign country and moved to Berlin at some point. And, but I didn't know, but apparently you have to register, get this paper. So I unfortunately didn't get the job. I went home, started looking online, and saw all those horror stories. So I started to freak out, you know, because I'm kind of like that. And I realized there was no way I could learn German in, in, in three days, uh, even though I learned how to code in nine weeks. Um, <laughs> but so I have also a really, really cool flatmate. And, and he actually told me, hey, don't worry. I know this uh, amazing website. And it's actually called Relocate Rocks. Uh, what this website allow you to do, it actually allow you to uh, choose your postcode in where you live. Um, add a date on when you have your uh, appointment, and then sort of get matched with uh, someone in your neighborhood that speak the language, and I can then take take you on the take you to do your uh, your admin task. So let's see how it works. I'm going to enter my postcode. All right, then I'm going to see that I'm going to say that I want to do my Amneldung. I have my appointment uh, next week on Tuesday, so let's do that. And then I'm going to click find a buddy. All right. Oh, cool. They have two buddies in my area. OK, let's get matched with one of them. Wow. That's, that's such a cool, uh, a cool algorithm working there. All right, cool. I get Oli. All right, so Oli seems pretty serious with his shirt. Apparently, he works in, uh, in a bank, uh, has Polish background, and, he'll, and he's into football. You know, I'm also into football, and I got a couple of uh, tickets to go and watch uh, Union Berlin, uh, Union FC, in like a couple of weeks. Uh, because I've heard they're great. Uh, so I'm actually going to ask him to uh, ask, ask him for some help and tell him that I can also, in reward for helping me in that great stuff uh, that he's uh, getting an Almendung, uh, I will also offer him uh, a, to go with me and watch the game. So here it is. Let's uh, validate that. OK, cool. All right, so apparently uh, my, my request is pending. Now. I mean, you know, I'm looking at, at this picture, and I'm, I'm kind of a guy that, that, that gets a bit worried. So let's go back and see if there's maybe somebody else you know, that, that, that might be a bit more, I don't know, trustworthy or funny. I don't know who knows. Uh, all right, so let's get a new match. OK, cool. So here's a new match. That's Lucas. All right, Lucas, he enjoyed tech music and clubbing. Yeah, well, you know, I also enjoy doing that. So let's uh, ask Lucas for some help. And you know, I'm kind of those pretentious Berliner, and I actually get to know uh, one of the bouncers at the Bergen. So I'm in the Bergen every single week. I'm actually going tonight, if you guys want to join. Uh, so let's, uh, let, let's ask, uh, let, let's offer him to uh, take him to Bergen as well in a couple of weeks uh, when he saw you at my Amdeldung. So all right, let's do that. Let's accept. OK, cool. Oh, and I can see that Oli actually accepted. Oh, let's, let's chat with him quickly. All right, great. So we're going to just uh, send him a quick message. Oh, he replied as well. Great, I help you with the ending, and we go to the game after. All right, awesome. We'll do that. And uh, we'll, just, we'll just, on top of getting, uh, getting my Amaldung sorted, I'll also get a really cool new buddy. So thank you very much, guys. That was our little app. Uh, I really want to thank, thank uh, the team as well uh, that have made that possible. So you got Carl, Oli, and Lucas. Uh, those guys have been great, and we really, really had a blast. And uh, yeah, that was it. Thanks very much, guys. There we are. So anyone finding a job in Berlin from London, he's your man. Okay. So we're at our last pitch. It's gone so fast. But uh, I'm particularly excited about this one. Let me, let me start with a couple of questions. Who, who here is single? No, this is not an advance. Who here is single? 
Come on, it's not just the guy at the back, is it? Thanks. Okay. Is this like the most hooked up room around? Okay, come on. Who, who here? Thank you, thank you. There we are, a couple more people. Who here has used a dating app? There we are, thank you. Who here has used a dating app but just was a li- didn't want to put their hand up then? Uh, you know, there, there we are. I, thank you, Ike. So, you know, if, if you are still single and you're still using dating apps, well, there's a new dating app on the market. Take it away, Andrew. Hi. Um, my name is Andrew. I am young, relatively speaking. I am adventurous, and I have something really impressive in my trousers, which I would like to show to you tonight. <laughs> Talking about two VIP passes to the Lewagon after party tonight. It's the hottest ticket in town, open bar all night. You just need to ask Rich for permission every time you take a sip of your drink. <laughs> the, the problem is, there's two of these passes. There's one of me. I would love to take a date to this event, but I'm single. So how would I go about finding a date? How would you go about finding the date, stranger in a front row? Well, <laughs> well, in the past, what you might do is go to an app like Tinder, swipe furiously. <laughs> Repetitive straining disorder is something I've experienced as a result. Match aimlessly and hope that someone you match with happens to share your enthusiasm for boot camp after parties. <laughs> right? But wouldn't it be cool if there was a social dating app that actually prioritised dating? A social dating app where you can actually browse and post date experience instead of just user profiles? Well, fortunately, my friend Vipka, who's here with her boyfriend tonight, told me about a social dating app that she uses all the time. All the time. It's called date fishing. And with date fishing, what I can do, if I want to go to this after party and I want to find a date for the after party, I can just do that on the app. I can create a date. It's really simple. We're going to show you. We hope it doesn't take too long. The name of the date in this case would be, what did we say it was going to be called? VIP Lair Wagon Party. That should be enough to entice a few people, I imagine. Then we need to select a category. And just looking out to the TAs from Lair Wagon, I think Geek and Nerd would have to be the most fitting in this case. No offense, Andy. Come on, you know what you are. I need to upload a, I need to upload a photo. And then I need to think of a description. And someone as comically as uh, someone as comically gifted as me might come up with a description like, "We're gonna have a good time tonight." <laughs> Do you get it? We're go- we're, le- yeah, le- we're gone. We're gonna have a good time tonight! <laughs> Exclamation mark. Then there's two things left to do. We need a time, which is tonight. It's actually happening in a couple of hours, so I need to get cracking. Speaking of cracking. <laughs> I gave, out the back, I gave Evgenia a sip of my beer, and it's obviously had negative consequences. And I need a location, which is Prenzlauerberg, right here. Prenzlauerberg. <laughs> we practiced this, I grew up. <laughs> and this is the thing, you know why it's called date fishing? Has anyone here ever been fishing before? You don't have to put your hand up, just think about it in your head. The coolest thing about fishing, you don't, you don't have to put your hand up, just think about it in your head. The coolest thing about fishing is you like cast out there your line, and then the exciting part is when you're actually waiting for the nibbles to come in. So what I've done here, I've created a date, I'm waiting for people to express interest, but time is of the essence, so while we're waiting, let's have a look at some of the other experiences that other users of the site have posted. Now, I'm from Berlin, I'm progressive, and so I've set my sexual preference to all genders, and several species of dog. <laughs> so, so we're going to get an eclectic mix of, resu- mix of results here. And as you see, what we're looking at, we're not just looking at profiles. 
We're looking at actual date experiences. So in this sense, it's more like something like Meetup than something like Tinder. Like, look at this, for example. Come harvest some herbs with me from a guy called Paul. <laughs> that sounds wholesome. And it also sounds suspicious. We've got here Romantic Weekend at Berghain. Uh, whoever this person is, I bet they're a real party animal. Someone called Grizel. I would love to go to Bergheim, but I couldn't keep up for a full weekend. What else is there? Boyfriend out of town, twist to anyone. Who would have the audacity to post that on a dating website? Clara. <laughs> Unfortunately, I know that girl, and I know her boyfriend, and he could take me, so I'm not going to... I'm not going to buy it at that day. But look at this, road trip, road trip to Paris. I would love to go to Paris. I'm sick of Berlin. Let's see what's going on here. Three days was all I could bear with my Berlin employees. <laughs> Driving my wagon back to Paris and looking for someone to ride shotgun. <laughs> look at this guy who's posted the date, Boris. Ruggedly attractive man. This seems absolutely perfect. But before I commit to it, before I nibble, fishing reference, you know, you fish nibble the bait. Let's just check his profile. Entrepreneur, developer, an exceptionally huggable guy. This is reading well. Just be warned that I'm French and as such do not shower. <laughs> is this the kind of guy you would want to go on a road trip with? Probably not. But fortunately, look at those throbbing love hearts up there. Someone has already expressed interest in the date that I've posted. Let's see what's going on. May Lee. Hey, I'm in for free drinks, but only if that hunk of a driver, Rich, is there. Well, well we couldn't do the other joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like the fact that she's interested, but it doesn't seem like she's interested in me. What else is going on? I have a second nibble, a second piece of interest. I'd love nothing more than to shake my booty at your boot camp, still looking for someone. <laughs> now this guy. This is my kind of guy for a date. But how hard can he shake? Let's ask him. I'm Brazilian, if that answers your question. It does it, Dave. The home of twerking. Marcel, we're going to the after party together. May Lee, Igram, thanks so much for working on the project together. And uh, Le Wagon. That's the end of everything, so thanks for sitting through it all. <laughs> well done. Oh. What a what a way to end. I, I should I should just end saying we went through so many jokes in the last two weeks of what could have been said and we had to veto some, so this this is fantastic. This has been great. Well that's it. That's it for, for tonight. We've had ten amazing products. And what I want to do now is to celebrate these 38 amazing people by getting them all up on stage. So please give a round of applause to everyone. Everyone, come on. I... Nearly everyone. I, I, can't, I can't say how hard these guys have worked. I really can't, I really can't say how hard these guys have worked. Uh, they've put in some of the most crazy... A guys, I'm still talking. Come on. He's already drunk. <laughs> they've put in such an amazing amount of time. Really, really have. They've been in the office until 10, 11 p.m., much to the, the teacher and TAs. <laughs> well, no, they, they, they loved helping you out. Um, but I should say, behind all of this uh, is a group of teachers and TAs who put in some serious hours over, over the boot camp. Um, so I just want to read all of them out now. 
Uh, there's a long list, so bear with me. So thank you very much to Andy, to, to Arby, to Gregory, to Martin, to Sarah, to Tom, to Victor, to Brian, to Diogo, to Eli, to Juliet, to Leon, Luis, Niall, Pierre, Ryan, Saskia, Tony, Umberto, Yuan, and Zuzo. These guys, these guys, these guys really make Le Wagon happen. Now, there are there are some other there are some, some other people that also make Le Wagon happen. Um, first and foremost, there's Philip and Alice who set up Le Wagon back in the day. They are not here today. They're down in uh, Ingolstadt. Uh, if anyone knows where that is, our German friends obviously do. Um, but uh, just as importantly, if not more. There's been two teachers here who have put in some serious hours uh, full time. So I'd like to welcome up uh, Clara and Dimitri. Huge round of applause. <laughs> they've, they've been absolutely fantastic. And then finally, we have a new community manager, slash marketing manager, slash every, make stuff happen manager, uh, and that's been Nim. She's just joined us, uh, and she's made this ho whole of tonight, and also the after party. <laughs> and, then, and then finally, finally, we have one more, one more person. Now, this person actually made everything happen, uh, like actually made everything happen, and that is our, our Santa CEO, Boris who's at the back, it's being like, Rich, don't do this to me. <laughs> I'm tired, I'm exhausted. But Boris, I mean, if you want to come up, you can, or just give a little, come up, come up, come on. <laughs> Is it Boris, our CEO? <laughs> in, in from Paris for the week. So, thank you so, so much for coming. Um, I would say grab a beer. We usually do have plenty more beers in that fridge. Uh, there's, she, she's there just like, no, there's nothing there. So what I'm going to suggest is that we uh, you know, uh, grab whatever is left in the fridge, and then in about 10, 15 minutes, we head over to Lustbar on Torstrasse. Everyone's invited, apart from that person down there. <laughs> and, and we will have plenty of booze to go around, all of it free. So thank you so, so much for coming. Give yourselves a round of applause and these beautiful people as well.